Time for the second of the races over the Grand National Fences then this time, and it's the Topham Chase this time, a Grade 3 handicap, two mile five furlongs again, and a top one rampant line for Alex Cherry. Confessions of an Assassin, Paul Rhodes, Take the Knee, Ryan Tamasemi, The Killer Queen for Joshua Sutherland, Viva Paradiso, Daniel French, Band of Gold, Graham Clutterbuck, Overcome Scimitar, Alex Cherry, Shining Bright, Craig Beck with Tabloid Lover, Leon Van Rensburg, Presenting Present for Graham Clutterbuck, and Murder on My Mind for Ryan Costello. So, a couple of Winners from last week in this, and away they go. And Tabloid Lover looks like it's going to be the first to show then, as they make their way to the fence. It'll be the second last next time round, and next week, well, not next week, tomorrow. What well, about next week? They can do it first, and over it they all go. And over comes Simitar. It's probably just about gone on then now. And Alex Cherry's first and last at the moment. I'm sure Rampant Lima, top weight at the back, is probably the one he's expecting to be. Closer to the front at the end of the race, and they're making their way to the chair. Then now, so they jump one fence less than I thought they were going to. And Tabloid Lover is the leader. So Tabloid Lover then has gone over the chair in the lead, as have the rest of them. And take the knee a second as they get to the water, and they all skip over that one as though it wasn't even there. So Tabloid Lover then will swing out now left-handed, and they'll do a full circuit of the national course as they did in the Fox Hunter earlier. And Tabloid Lover is the leader from Overcome Scimitar and Viva Paradiso on the inside and take the knee it was a big winner last week at Cheltenham and comes Shining Bright presenting present confessions of an assassins after that one and then Rampant Lion Band of Gold the Killer Queen and finally Murder on My Mind as they make their way now then to the fence that'll be the first in tomorrow's Grand National and Tabloid Lover will lead them into it by about four lengths Field get over it nicely down on its nose a little bit was the killer queen but early enough in the race to be able to recover from that pretty successfully I would have thought as they get over the second the next and murder on my mind was the one that made the mistake this time as they come down to the big ditch which will be the third tomorrow and it's the sixth today it's tabloid lover that leads into it and they all get over that one nicely as well then with tabloid lover the leader confessions of an assassin has moved through in a second Presenting Present is in third as they get to the next, that's fence number seven. And get the numbers mixed up, I'm determined to, was determined to call that fence number four, as you might want to notice. But it's Tabloid Lover in the lead then, from Confessions of an Assassin and then the Killer Queen, as they get over the next. And they're all safely over that one as well. They're already jumping okay now, take the nears, drop right towards the back. Now it was close up earlier on. But Tabloid Lover. We'll lead them into beaches and over it they go all safely over beaches brook them with tabloid lover in the lead and confessions of an assassin second and then shining bright and presenting present as they come to the next which is these days called four over and confessions of an assassin made a bit of a mistake at it the smallest fence bar the water jump only managed to give it a an almighty wallop so coming down to the canal turn now then and tabloid lover has suddenly found itself six lengths clear and takes the canal really nicely. They all get over it well with Confessions of an Assassin just about showing second from Shining Bright and Presenting Present. Overcomes Scimitar is tucked in behind them as they get over Valentine's Brook this time and they're all safely over that one as well then. And that's all the really big obstacles. Just one more ditch to take. That's the fourth from home but it's Tabloid Lover that's going to take them into the next. And over that one they go. And Tabloid Lover the leader from Presenting Present, Fever Paradiso, then Confessions of an Assassin and Shining Brights after that one. This is the final ditch and over it they go and a slow jump there was by Shining Bright but Tabloid Lover still the clear leader. Viva Paradiso is the stalking horse in second though who's now going to try and close. Then comes Presenting Present over the third last they go. Tabloid Lover in front, Viva Paradiso looking a big danger. They've now got to make this long run towards the final two fences, the home straight and the elbow and it's Tabloid Lover and Viva Paradiso from presenting presenting shining bright confessions of an assassin the killer queen's not made a move yet and then comes over comes scimitar i don't know where rampant lion's gone must have too much weight today but it's tabloid lover in the lead from viva paradiso it's tabloid lover in the lead from viva paradiso confessions of an assassin he's trying to run on in third was that run by fever paradiso a bit flattering to deceive because tabloid lover has kicked on again and he's now four lengths clear once more it's tabloid lover over the second last gets over well slow jump by viva paradiso who 
may well be done. Then comes Confessions of Assassin, overcomes Simitar, presented, present, shining bright, the killer queen, all still trying to get into it. Take the knees, trying to come round the outside, but it's got a lot to do, but there's a long running, remember. This is the final fence, over it they go. Tabloid Lovers over it in front, overcomes Simitar in second. Take the knees, trying to run on from the back, but it's Tabloid Lover in front, overcomes Simitar. Now looks a bit dangerous, they race past the elbow. It's Tab Tabloid Lover now being challenged by overcomes Simitar, and overcomes Simitar takes it up, overcomes Simitar puts his head in front, but Tabloid Lover fights back. The pack are closing, it's Tabloid Lover and overcomes Simitar. It's a head bobber as a race up towards the line. Tabloid Lover looks like he's got enough to take it, he has. Overcomes Simitar, the King of Queen was after that one, and then Take the Knee was running on but couldn't get close enough today. And it was a ding dong battle up the straight between those two, and Tabloid Lover might have been headed for a little bit but got back in the lead when it mattered and tabloid lover takes it from out of the handicap for leon van rensburg overcomes scimitar on second for alex chelier a killer queen for joshua Sutherland was third presenting present for graham clutterbuck was fourth who also took fifth with a band of gold and the big guns really there take the knee and rampant lion well out of contention